Good morning, Talawana. Today is Tuesday, March 30th, 2021. Would you like to help a new student adapt to THS? We are bringing back the ambassador program to watch to match current students with new students. Applications are available in the counseling office or online on the counseling website. Oxford Community Parks is looking for volunteers to help with their annual Easter egg hunt on Saturday, April 3rd. Volunteers would need to arrive by 9 and would be done by noon. If you are interested, in re reach out to Ryan Himes, rhimes at cityoxford.org, and Emily Sollenberger, esollenberger at cityofoxford.org. FCCLA will be hosting a spring blood drive to be held on Friday, April 16th from 7.30 to 11.30. You must be 16 years old to donate. Each donation saves three lives. Sign-ups will, will start after spring break, which is now forms are currently available. Now for a critical analysis of Zachatology, followed by a sports with Luke West Poli. And just, if when in doubt, go with the Big Ten. If when in doubt, go with the Big Ten. Um, the thing about UCLA is the Pac-12 stinks. It is the Pac-12 stinks. And that's it. This unlikely run continues for UCLA. And, and the Oregon Ducks out of the Pac-12, headed to the Sweet 16. It's over. The Trojans take it to Kansas. USC is on to the Sweet 16 for the first time since 2007. And that'll do it. What a surprise. Oregon State is going to the regional finals. Brayton Shiflett has moved up to first in the bracket challenge after night one of the Elite Eight, and Caleb Bogseth has fallen to second. Also, Mr. Roten has moved his way up to third as the Elite Eight will come to a close tonight with the final two games. The softball team knocked off Hamilton last night by a 5-3 score. They improved to 2-1 and one on the year and will finish on a back-to-back -back of road games today at Coleraine. First pitch is scheduled for 5. The boys' tennis team started their season off on the right foot last night with a 4-1 win over Fenwick. Their next match will be tomorrow at Coleraine. The lacrosse team suffered their first season loss of the year last night at Chaminade Julian. 16-13 was the final. Grady Holmes led the team with seven goals, and Craig Catania had nine saves in the losing effort. They fall to 3-1 on the year, and their next game will be tomorrow at Franklin. Keep your bells up for Athlete of the Week this week, so make sure to vote for him on the Cincinnati Inquirer's high school sports page. Also, good luck to the rest of the team, as they will host the Talawana Brave invite tonight, starting at 4.30. Good luck to the baseball team tonight at Monroe. Parker Gesham will be on the mound for the Brave at 5.00. And that's our broadcast today. I'm Luke West Foley. Thanks so much for watching. A lot of pens being thrown at me right now. Barely even friends, then somebody bends unexpectedly. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>